the silence. It calls to me, voiceless, endless. Yeah, this is Blaze. Who's this? What did you say? How can I help you? I'm here for Patrick Harris. Of course, let me call the examiner. Okay. She'll be with you shortly. Thank you.
place. Morning, Deputy. Morning. I'm here to document the viewing. Are you going to be okay having him in there? Yeah. We get this over with. That's him. That's my brother. Boys. Excuse me, I gotta go. Blaze? Yes. Hi, I'm Sheriff Parson. You can call me Jim, though. Here's my card if you have any questions. Now, I know this is a hard thing to deal with. Do you have anybody here in town you know? No, I've never actually been here. Well, I, I never visited Pat here before. I know a guy down the road. He's got a hotel. Show him my card, tell him I sent you, and he'll give you a good deal. What, what happened to his chest? He got hit multiple times with a blunt object. It stopped his heart. I'll give you a call, thank you. in for a couple days, remember? I know. I wish you were here too, Mom. Hey, I'll see you in a couple days, okay? I love you too. Bye. Blaze, right? Yeah. My name is Ben. Ben Johnson. Jeez. Dude. Yeah, no, I, I know. I'm, I'm not him. Can we get this over with? I really don't want to be here right now. Yeah, of course. Right this way. This is it. You didn't own much. Oh, and the police took a couple things. I have the sheriff's card. He's in charge of the investigation. Let me get you his number. That's okay, I already got it from him. Hmm. No furniture or anything? No, he rented his furniture from us. Everything he owned is in these bags. Hey, if you need anything, all you gotta do is call. Thanks, man. I will. Patrick was a good guy. I miss him too. Yeah.
man, woman, human. Pinnacle of evolution, or a supreme parasite? Couldn't that be one and the same? We look at our history and see advancement. We remember proudly our wars and see the destruction of our world as progress. Wouldn't it be interesting if we weren't the best creation had to offer? What if we were only second best? What would be the alternative? Devout men are taken away, and no one understands that the righteous are taken away to be spared from evil. Those who walk uprightly enter into peace. They find rest as they lie in death. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died so that you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For as we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, so we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. So is Patrick gonna be joining us? No, Mom. Patrick won't be joining us. Not anymore. Well, that's too bad. He doesn't know what he's missing. Mm-hmm. Well, you tell him to come home right after practice, okay? Okay, Mom, I will. And will you be coming home with no. us? Mom, I'm going to stay here, okay? Okay. <laughs> she seems... It's just a bad day. She'll be fine soon. I really think it's better that, you know, she doesn't recognize what's going on. She seems happier. Thanks, James. All right, take care.
from the ashes by We Have Guns. And now for your end of the hour news update. Uh, looks like the body of a local man was found this morning in the woods off of Old Mill Road. Uh, the sheriff's office is following all leads and any information will of course be appreciated. Although the man's name has not been released, a statement will be made later today to confirm details and facts and hopefully this leads to an arrest. Did you know him? Him? The dead man, the victim from last night. No, I didn't know him. Who? I'm Dahlia. You are? Ah, uh, Blaze. I've seen you around town. Uh-huh. So? But you were at the funeral. You were his brother. I am his brother. He looks so much like him. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. When I first saw you... Can we change the subject? If you didn't know him, why did you come? What? If you didn't know the dead man, why did you come up here? I honestly don't know. Blaze, what are you doing out here? You know, this is a crime scene, and you really shouldn't be out here. Blaze? Okay, I'll go. Come here. Let me talk to you. Come on. So you think you're going to find the killer? What makes you think this is remotely similar to your brother's death? By the way, who's the girl? Huh? The girl. She says her name is Dahlia. You don't know her? No. She said she knew Patrick. <sighs> Somebody did say something about a girlfriend. What? She was... Maybe. If you run into her again, I'd like to ask her a few questions myself. Me too. What? Nothing. I don't want to catch up here again, okay? I met a girl today. She's reserved, self-contained, an enigma, really. She watches everything. When she looks at me, I feel as though she can see right through me. Like I have no secrets. Talia. Her name's Talia. Blaze? Can I sit? Yeah, of course. What's up? No, I just came in for some lunch. Saw you sitting here. How long are you going to be sticking around town for? I don't know. I was kind of hoping for... Thank you. Some closure? Yeah. I guess. That well, comes with time. Usually. Listen, I, I wish I had something more for you. Something... Something more concrete. I think that's why I'm sticking around. Whatever happened to Patrick isn't over.
fear. In children, it's easily defined as fear of the dark or monsters in the closet. With adults, it's harder to pinpoint. We feel secure with our locked doors and shuttered windows. But what if monsters were real? Would we still go to bed each night in faith that the sun would rise again? That when we woke, we would still be human? Long night? What? You were wearing those clothes yesterday. Either you didn't pack for an extended stay, or you slept in your clothes. <laughs> yeah. I was reading one of Pat's journals last night. Fell asleep at the table. So you coming? To breakfast, are you coming? Not hungry? I'm paying. No thanks. So tell me, what's your story? How do you know, Pat, we were interrupted yesterday? That's Pat's necklace. He gave it to me. It's my grandmother's, you know. He never said it was so important to him. No, no, no. Hey, he wouldn't have given it to you if he didn't want you to have it. So then, you guys were together? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Patrick never told you? No, we didn't really talk much. Never, actually. Did you ever mention me? Quite a bit, actually. Stories about your childhood, stuff like that. 
<laughs> what was he like? I mean, what was he into? He spent a lot of his time researching. He was gonna write a book. About what? Local myths, legends, small town beliefs. Yeah. Found a few books like that in his stuff. I flipped through a few. They're interesting. Yes. How long? Excuse me? How long were you guys together? Not long. A few weeks, maybe a month. So it's love at first sight? I don't know about love. We liked each other a lot. Hadn't really gotten that far. I don't know anything about my brother. I hadn't seen him in... I just feel like I need to know everything, okay? I... I have to go. Oh, wait, do you need a ride? No, I just need to go. Dolly! Hey, wait, you need to pay for your breakfast. You can't just walk out of here. Right. Yeah, here, give me Marston, they're all packed up. They're about ready to go. Can I help you? Well, I found something I thought you would like to see. Anyway, Did you get that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was cleaning the house and I found this on the floor underneath the table. Anyways, I hope you don't mind, but I was reading this and I'm telling you. Wait, wait actually, yeah. Ben, I do mind. That's my brother's. I don't appreciate reading it without asking me. I'm sorry, Blaze. You should read it. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be seeing you, Blaze. No, that sounds good, Mark. I'll let Farston know. I'll keep him updated. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, I guess I'll see you tonight. Okay. This is Sheriff Farston's office. It's me. What can I do for you, Eskel? I just got off the phone with the feds. The FBI? Yeah, they're sending us a couple of agents to help us profile the killer. Great. That's just what we need. They've gone to Portland. And they're uh, getting a rental car. They should be here this evening. 
Well, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe they can catch this freak and finally get some rest. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sleeping well anytime soon, especially after this. Yeah, me neither. What are you doing here? How do you know where I live? Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. God, you must be freezing. Not really. Hey, are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. Do you need some water? No. Do you, do you need some water? I'm okay, thanks. You sure you're okay? No. You're just like him. Why are you here? What do you want? Oh, yeah. I'm not Patrick. I know. It's hard for me, but I know. I'm sorry I woke you. Wait, wait, you don't have to go. Yes, I do. Well, where are you staying? Do you live around here? No. Did you drive? I walked. So wait, you're gonna walk home in the dark while people are dying? Yes. No. You're gonna stay here. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Sure it is. You take upstairs and I'll sleep way over there on the couch. And in the morning we can swap Patrick stories. It'll be fun. Fine. But you're going to stay over there. Wouldn't have it any other way. Sleep well? <sighs> Been watching me sleep? I went for a walk on the beach. I wanted to apologize about last night. I, I didn't... I'm sorry. It's okay. We both 
have a lot to deal with. Sometimes I feel like all I've done since I woke up the morning my brother died is feel sad and lost. <laughs> I'm a mess. Thanks for letting me stay here last night. It was nice knowing there was someone else nearby. Of course. I mean, I wouldn't let you walk home alone. I don't have any decent food, uh, unless you like TV dinners for breakfast. <laughs> you want to go get something to eat with me? I can't. I actually got to go. Bye, Blaze. Oh, hey, Sean. You just get in? Yeah, and I ran into Jim on the way. He wants us to gear up and head out. Apparently the feds misplaced their agent, so they want us to go out and take a look. Uh, what whereabouts are we looking? Uh, the rental car the agents had is low jacked, so going to the old mill. Well, let's save this a wild goose chase. why they end up there? Morning. Yes, it is. Can I help you? Dolly, isn't it? I'd like to ask you a few questions about Patrick Harris. Here? It's your choice or I can take you downtown to the station. Am I in trouble? Well, that's yet to be seen. What do you want to know? What was your relationship with Patrick? Friends. How well did you know him? Pretty well, considering how short of a time we had together. Where were you the night he was murdered? Home. And where was that? You know I can arrest you for obstruction. Then arrest me. I have no alibi, no witnesses. I am suspicious. Any more questions? What's your relationship with his brother, Blaze? I've met him. I don't know how you're mixed up in any of this, but I know you are. I'm aware. Can I go? How do I get a hold of you if I have any more questions? I'm around. Dispatch, this is Eskel. Over. I read you, Deputy. What's your status? Ashton and I are at the, uh, old mill. We, uh, don't see the agents anywhere. You sure you got the right location? Yes, I'm sure. I want to get out and take a look around. Dispatch, we're going to go on foot and see if we can locate the agents and or their vehicle. Over. 10-4, Deputy. I'll inform Sheriff Farston. Over. Roger that. Ask go out. Found one of the agents dead by the car. Second one's right here.
Stop running into each other, man. Please, we gotta talk. Can we go inside? Can we talk out here? No, no, it's not safe. Can we go inside? Please. Okay, come on. Okay. You read this? Flip through it? You were supposed to read it, damn it! I mean, it talks about everything! About what? The murders? See, your brother was smart. He knew what was happening. He was the first one to die. How could he have? Did you ever ask yourself why? Why he was the first? Why your brother? I mean, do you know that all the victims so far had their throats ripped out? All but one. Your brothers. See, I think. I think your brother pissed somebody off real bad. That's why he was beaten to death, but the others, the others were fed upon. All right, you need to go. If you won't listen to me or read it, maybe you should hear it from Dahlia. How do you know her? She's mentioned in the book, man. Look, you don't believe me. I almost don't believe me. Read it. Yeah. Are you all right? No. Two more people were killed last night. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Dahlia. I mean, why them? Why these others? Why Patrick? Let's get out of here. Where do we go? Let's go for a walk on the beach. Come on. Hey, Alice. You just getting in? Just getting back. Working doubles. I got orders for both of you guys. Written orders? Yeah, Jim caught me on his way out. Okay, well, I'm off. Where's he sending you, Dylan? 
He's got me going to the rural areas, checking up on the hermits living up there. Hey, Dylan. Be careful, man. You too. Bye, Alice. Go get my tools and we'll strip this puppy down. Doug, give me something hot to drink, will you? A cup of coffee? What am I, your manservant? Damn it, Doug, it's getting dark soon. Doug! Nine one one, what's your emergency? Uh, okay, sir, can you tell us your name and address? I'm a Denny Salvage. This, this is Jerry. Send someone quick. Sir, can you speak up? I can barely hear you. Jerry, it's Sean. I'm coming in. Jerry? Jerry? You here? Jerry. Sheriff Parson here. It's me, Sean. I got two DOAs at Denny Salvage. I'm on my way. Hey, Blaze. Hey, Blaze. Patrick. 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 Pat
It's been a long time, man. It was selfish, I know. Forgive me? There was nothing to forgive. I can't believe I'm having this conversation right now. You're dead. You're dead. Forgive me? Forgive me? Forgive me? I just wanted my brother back. You died. You died. You did. Blaze. You're dead. Forgive me? Forgive me? Forgive. I just wanted my brother back. I love you. I love you. Pat. Brother. Brother. Pat. Blaze. I think you should leave town. What? I can't leave. It's not safe here. You could get hurt. <laughs> Why do you care so much? Your brother and I had something that I'd never experienced before, but you... You're like me. A loner. Strong but fragile. It's like knowing myself. And you know this. From just few days. I've been around, Blaze. Mm. I'm really good at reading people. <laughs> You're easy, predictable. Predictable. Stop right there! Stop or I will fire! Barton, it's Esco. Dylan, you okay? Yeah. Jim, I got him. I got the killer. Alive? Dead. Good. Where are you at now? I'm at John Mayfield's. Listen, uh, 
He didn't make it. I'll be there shortly. I... Oh, God! That's cool. Blaze, it's me, Blaze. Open up. Not now, Ben. You want to know what's been killing people? Now's your chance. Sheriff's up in the woods. They're hunting, Blaze. Hunting what? You would have read the book. You would know. What book? Well, what's she doing here? I don't think it's any of your business, Ben. It's OK, Blaze. What book, Ben? The one Patrick wrote. About you. About everything. Where are you going? I gotta go, Dahlia. I gotta see. What do you think you're gonna see? The truth. Coming with you. And where is everyone? Don't you see? They didn't want to risk bringing an ambulance up We here. should leave. The hunting blaze. You gotta be silent. Quiet. Stay here. That man, you knew him. Yes. Why didn't you tell me? It's complicated. was the hospital calling about Ben. They say he's gonna survive. He's pretty messed up, got a broken jaw. He'll be in a neck brace for a while, but he'll be all right. All right, you two, what the hell's going on?
Ben was right. You should have read the book. Would have made what I'm about to tell you slightly less shocking. Talia, what are you talking about? I'm not human. <sighs> I'm something more. And something less. The man you met in the woods today is not human. He's a different creature entirely. And I, I am his daughter. Together we represent the sum total of our race. The last two. You've seen my father in action. Anything else is irrelevant. Bullshit, Dahlia, what the hell are you talking about? Believe me now. Sak om tia ban ku. Tia po bin tai aban. Lu? Paso tia toa om bin. Tia na nas tia. Tia meruk gen nas talaba. Lu meruk men shon. Loi men she. So ta nae loi kaios. Nae len. Nae son yoru. Kabare. Tia meruk Patrick. Lu so fladen. Tina wai eora. Mo tia geyui tina oan hitam. Len oan hitam so fihan. Lo kadim ta mito. As aban. Lo igaro so kasa. Wai len so aban. Pre tia bon kambo. Lo kambo su sofla sabo de curet. Tia ken don sun suara em bege. Lo mot lem kas. Hentia Kai. We have an update on the crisis now unfolding in the small town of Seaview. The body count has risen as the serial killer known as the Slasher continues to operate unopposed. The deceased include four civilians, one deputy and two federal agents. Another civilian lies in critical condition at the county hospital. And now to give us a first-hand perspective is field reporter Darcy Calloway. Darcy? Hello, Sarah. I'm on site in Seaview now. Tensions are high as most local residents adhere to Sheriff Jim Farston's suggested curfew. There's little or no activity on the streets as families barricade themselves behind locked doors. I have kids. I have to think about them and we're leaving tonight. I'm, I'm sorry, but we've got to go. I'm, I'm sorry. People have been leaving in droves since early this morning. Unless the killer is caught, it's going to look like a ghost town in the once scenic sea view. Thank you, Darcy. In addition to the curfew, Sheriff Farston has organized a manhunt consisting of borrowed deputies from nearby districts and local outdoorsmen. The search and capture of the killer is foremost on everyone's mind. We all know what vampires are. We've read the books, seen the movies, both good and terrible. We know that vampires can't stand sunlight, they sleep in coffins, and are killed with stakes through the heart. It's not true. Not any of it. How do I know? Because I've met one. Her name is Dahlia. Over a couple of weeks, we became close friends. She told me about a little girl born of two parents, just like you and me, hundreds of years ago. 
Her mother died in childbirth, leaving her for the afterlife, a quiet nothingness they call the silence. Her father, her Aban, raised her alone. He taught her the ways of their kind, how to hone their senses, track, hunt, and kill. The little girl grew up and eventually left her father. She found that she empathized with humans, her food. She wandered for years, struggling with her particular hunger, struggling and ultimately failing to contain it. Every time she would let the hunger build, pushing it back by sheer force of will. She would black out and hunt. Then after feeding, she would taste the blood on her lips and feel both euphoric and horrified. She came to a point where she considered joining her mother in the silence, leaving this life of pain and misery for eternal peace. She was in this mindset when she met me. She tells me that when she's around me, she doesn't feel the hunger so strongly. She doesn't know how to describe it. I, hesitantly, in my ignorance, called it love. But this story isn't about me, or really about Dahlia. No. This is a book about monsters. Dahlia's father, he's tracked her here for reasons known only to him. All I know is that he hates humans. He is incredibly strong and fast and murderous. Dolly is terrified that he'll find out about me, about us. Her fear has infected me, and now I'm afraid for my life. I feel my time is close. Like he's breathing down my neck. My only regret? is that I haven't fixed things with my brother. I don't know how to bridge the gap between us. I can only say that I love him, my twin, and to give him this warning. Our nightmares walk among us.
I read the book. I'm sorry. Don't be. Well, I am. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. You said you've been tracking him. Maybe you- We, we can could... what? Hunt him down? Kill him? He's a killer, Dahlia. He needs to be stopped. And you think you can stop him? With Farson's help. You don't get it, do you? We're stronger, faster, and smarter than you are. Well then help us. I can't. Yes, you can. I won't! It doesn't matter what I feel, I will not do this thing! What about Patrick? The old abandoned mill. What? It's where he's been hiding. I found him last night after I left. And you'll fight? I cannot fight him. But well, what are you gonna do, leave? Maybe. Even if you succeed, I'll be alone. You don't have to be alone. Yes, I do. Hey, Blaze. Another hunt? Yeah, he's still out there. We'll go out there every day if we have to. Gonna put a bullet through his skull. For Dylan. For Dylan? Yeah, Dylan. I know where he is. Only thing is, I'm coming with you. All right, then. Where's that son of a bitch hiding? It's your mothers, your brothers, your sisters and elders The orphan inside me that still cries and whimpers It's all there It's all there Well, look at me, child, what do you see? Everybody listen up. 
We're gonna be splitting into groups. Each group will be led by a deputy. Sheriff Farston will be coordinating with Deputy Ashton and Blaze Harris at different entry points. The criminal we're hunting today is dangerous and willing to kill. Be careful.
so dilatia meow What do you want me to do with him? Burn it.
the silence. It calls to me, voiceless, endless. But I don't answer, not today. Sweet.